Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be creating this trippy glow filter effect. I think it looks really cool and we are going to be rotoscoping as well as creating that duplicate effect and then adding a bunch of effects in order to get that dreamy lens filter effect. In After Effects, to get started, we're going to be rotoscoping our subject. And before I do that, I'm just going to scale up my footage just by a little, just so that it fills the composition entirely. And then we're going to double click the layer, grab the roto brush tool and then rotoscope your subject. After rotoscoping your subject, hit the freeze button in order to lock in your rotoscope. Going back into the composition, we're going to adjust the feather as well as the shift edge. Increase the feather to 10 and then decrease the shift edge to around like negative 40. And by doing that, it just creates smoother edges of our subject. Duplicate this layer by clicking Ctrl D. For the bottom layer, delete the rotor brush effect. Also going to rename these layers. I'll rename this one to BG for background. Then I'll just rename this one to B Savage. Because we are creating that duplicate effect, I'm going to duplicate this layer twice. And then I'm going to move the position for both of these layers. I'm also just going to have the main layer above these two layers. And then rename this to rename this one to D Savage left because that's going to go to the left. Left, and then I'm going to rename this one to D Savage Right. Go to the toggle switches and modes, and we're going to change the blending mode for these two layers. Or actually, before we do that, open up the scale, and I'm going to have this one scaled up a lot bigger. I'll have that at like 180%. Also, move the position. And then I'm going to have this one scaled up to around 140 and move that towards the right. Select both of these layers and then change the blending mode to, it can be like overlay or add. Actually, that looks too bright. I'm going to go for, yeah, I'm going to go for a light tint. I think that looks really good, but of course you can choose whatever blending mode that looks best for your footage. Also going to lower the opacity. It's a little too intense. So I'll lower the opacity to around 85%. The next thing we're going to do is add a glow. I'm going to decrease the glow intensity to 0.3 and then decrease the glow threshold to 0%. Increase the glow radius to, I would say 40. Grab that effect, click Control C and then paste it to the layer on the left by clicking Control V. And now as you guys can see, adding that glow effect makes it look a lot better. For the next part, we're going to create a new adjustment layer. And the first effect we're going to add is a chromatic aberration. Decrease the distorted amount to 0.5 and then for the next effect we're going to add a vignette and I'm going to decrease the amount to 50. This is what we have for our final effect. I think it looks really dope and by adding the chromatic aberration as well as the vignette it just makes the effect look even better. Moving on to the second effect we're going to be creating a dreamy lens filter effect using this footage. To get started, we're going to duplicate this layer twice. The first effect we're going to add is a directional blur. And because we are going for that dreamy lens filter effect, this effect is really going to help us achieve that look. I'm going to change the direction of this to negative 45, increase the blur length to 100, and then copy and paste this effect to the second layer. For the second layer, change the direction to positive 45 degrees. The first one is going to be negative, and then the second one is going to be positive. Open up the toggle switches and modes, and I'm going to change the blending mode for both of these layers to screen as you guys can see it creates that like really starry dreamy effect and because it is a little too intense i'm going to also lower the opacity for both of these layers i'm going to lower the opacity to 60 percent next thing we're going to do is add a curves and i'm really going to bring down the midtones because the effect is a little too intense. Grab that effect and then copy and paste it to the second layer. The final effect we're going to add to these layers is a glow. Make sure to bring this glow effect above the two other effects. Increase the glow intensity to around 0.3 and then decrease the glow radius to zero. I'm also going to decrease the glow threshold to 50%. Copy and paste this effect to the second layer. Also make sure to bring the glow effect above the two other effects. Both of these top layers have the same exact effects. And now, as you guys can see, we have that really cool, starry, dreamy effect. I feel like the footage really matches with this overall look that we're going for. And to make it look even better, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. For the first effect, we're going to add a radial blur. Decrease the amount to two. Grab the center point and just make sure it's in the middle of your subject's face. The next effect we're going to add is an optics compensation. Make sure to click the reverse lens distortion and also increase the field of view to 50. Now when I play this, this is what we have for our final effect. And that is all I have for now. Those are two different ways that you can add some trippy glow filter effects to your music videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.